For capturing a live performance to multi-track, it doesn't get much easier than just connecting a USB hard drive to the TouchMix 30 Pro and going for it. But sometimes you might prefer to record directly to a digital audio workstation, or DAW, software. The TouchMix 30 Pro is core audio compatible, so it connects easily to a computer running OS X 10.3 or higher without the need for any special drivers. Connecting to your DAW is simple. Start by connecting your USB Type-B cable to the USB DAW port on the mixer. Then, connect the other end to your computer's USB. On the touch mix, press Record Play, Recording Mode, and select Multi-Track DAW. Now, open the Audio MIDI Setup Utility on your computer. QSE TM30 Pro will appear in the Audio Devices window. Select the mixer and make sure that the sample rate on your computer matches that of the mixer. The touch mix sample rate may be set from the record play screen. Now there are lots of DOS software packages available and we are not going to get into a discussion of which one is best. That's like talking about politics or religion. And various DAWs will differ on how they're configured to work with an audio I.O. device. So check with your DAWs documentation for specifics. That being said, Here's a generic overview of what to expect. Typically, there will be three steps. One, select the TouchMix 30 as an input and output device to the DAW. Since I'm using Pro Tools, I simply need to enable the TM30 as an I.O. for the Pro Tools aggregator. You will also likely have to configure your DAW's connections for both inputs and outputs. For instance, I'm going to bring in 16 channels from the TouchMix and map them to the first 16 inputs inside my DAW. Two, add some tracks into your DAW timeline. I'm adding 16, since that's the number of channels I'm using on my TouchMix. As you set up your tracks, you will also need to designate which TouchMix 30 input is going to feed each DAW track. This is usually controlled by the individual track settings. And three, if you're going to play tracks back through the TouchMix, you'll also need to designate which TouchMix input receives which DAW track. This is most likely part of the DAW track settings. Now that you've got your TouchMix 30 Pro and your DAW talking to each other, let's talk about what they can do. A recording session has to start somewhere, and that somewhere usually starts with tracking. Say you're going to lay down some drums, some bass, guitar, keyboard, and some scratch vocals. Depending on how many mics you use, that could easily be up to 12 to 16 inputs. That's far more inputs than most USB audio interfaces offer. But the TouchMix 30 has inputs to spare. Not only that, but we can use the mixer's auxiliary buses for the musician's headphone mixes without worries about any of the latency problems that can come up when you use a DAW's monitor mix functions. You could even let the musicians control their own mix from a smartphone, just like they do during a live performance. Does the singer like to hear reverb in his cans? No problem, just use one of the six onboard effects. Your DAW has lots of mixing capabilities, and you've probably got your favorite plugins, right? But the TouchMix 30 Pro is really easy to use and has lots of great channel presets. So, maybe you want to use your DAW for recording and editing while doing your mix down on the TouchMix 30 Pro. Here's how you do that. On the mixer, set all of the inputs that have a corresponding DAW track to track. Go to the two-track record channel, then go to the setup page and select main left right. If you want to use the mixer's output EQ and limiter, set the record pickoff point to post. On your DAW, create two new tracks and connect those inputs to the TouchMix channel 31 and 32. These tracks will now record the TouchMix main left-right stereo output. Arm these two tracks, and only these two tracks, for recording. Locate the start of the song and start recording. You'll now have a two-track mix down that is ready for mastering. So that's a look at how you can use your TouchMix 30 Pro with your DAW. You may find that your favorite live sound mixer is also your best choice for DAW interface. 